might as well put this potential controversy aside here and now. Yes, this is the most powerful Lamborghini ever, and it's a plug-in hybrid. Are you still with us? Good thing, because Revuelto, named after a bull that allegedly gobbled up several matadors in the 1800s, is quite the force of will. And to find out if it's still a real Lamborghini despite the new technology, or maybe even because of it, we'll take it for a few laps around the Autodromo Vallelonga near Rome. In conclusion, the Revuelto has a new V12 petrol engine of 6.5 liters, which produces 814 horsepower, and combines three electric motors, two on the front axle and one integrated in the gearbox. Total output is a whopping 1,001 brake horsepower, a figure which is almost as impressive as installing the complex powertrain in the Revuelto's chassis. In fact, we're allowed 16 laps of Vallelunga to put this technical solution to the test. As you can imagine, these will fly by in the Revuelto, especially because we've switched the driving mode to its most raucous Corsa setting, but even after the first few corners, it's clear that this latest V12 creation is more well-mannered than its predecessors. Where the outgoing Aventador felt raw and unpredictable, the Revuelto feels much more trustworthy. One corner in particular where this stands out is the Cava Grande, an ultra-fast right turn that's followed immediately by a left bend. The Revuelto has tremendous composure at high speed, and this is due to the torque vectoring. Most sports cars use it for agility, but the Revuelto uses it to maximize stability. The control systems are so intelligent that the car anticipates driving conditions. If the rear loses traction in a fast corner, it can transfer power to the inside wheel of the front axle to control it. Most impressive, you won't even notice it from the inside, everything feels very natural. Approaching the Campagnano corner at the end of the back straight, we do 170 miles per hour, and before you know it, you're in the corner, having already braked and downshifted a few gears with the new 8-speed dual clutch. Up front, massive 10 piston calipers with appropriately sized 410 mm carbon ceramic discs slow the car down relentlessly, and we're happy to report that pedal feel is still perfect after several fast laps in a row. A rotary switch on the left side of the steering wheel selects the Revuelto's different driving modes. The Sita is for city driving, the Strata for cruising and the Sport for when you want to get to know the dynamics of the Revuelto. The Corsa is designed for track use and still has ESC off which, as you might expect, makes things a little livelier even with permanent four-wheel drive. The power of the Revuelto is absurd, with a 0 to 124 miles per hour time of just 7 seconds and an equally impressive 0 to 62 miles per hour time of 2.5 seconds. It's also incredible how much fine-tuning went into improving the car's handling. If the Aventador is a tough beast, the Revuelto is a beast with manners. Objectively speaking, the new Revuelto is a big step forward in technological development. Well, what about feelings? You can be sure that the Revuelto will get your pulse racing for all the right reasons, starting with the opening of the reels, followed by the beginning where the start button peeks out from under the red cover. And then there's the engine. The mere fact that Lamborghini built a naturally aspirated 6.5-liter V12 in 2023 is more than admirable. Plus, the rev limit has dropped from 8,700 to 9,500 RPM, so there's a soundtrack to match. At first it sounds more moderate than the Aventador. But under load, with the exhaust valves wide open, the Revuelto sounds exactly as a Lamborghini should first raspy, then screeching. The car can also be driven about 6 miles on electricity, but we didn't test it. 